Hi, Shannon. Hi, this is Shannon Rose, the Rose Hollywood Report. Uh, how did you get involved with the movie called The Nut Job? Well, the National Wildlife Federation is the education partner for the film The Nut Job, which is, of course, about a whole bunch of wild animals that um, are kinds of species that live in our cities and towns trying to um, you know, make a living and get some food to eat. And so at the National Wildlife Federation, we actually do a lot of work to educate people about the nature in our cities and towns and the fact that you know nature isn't all, only off in the wilderness, it's sometimes just right outside your door and there are things that we can do to help out the wildlife that live around us. So is this like a live action Disney type, you know, where they go out in the reserve and we see how the animals interact for real? Well, no, this is an animated film, and the animals are, are all what we call anthropomorphized. So they talk, and, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, great fun, slapstick humor, a lot of action. And obviously, real-life wild animals don't do that. But, you know, at the National Wildlife Federation, when we partner on films like this, you know, we think it's a really great way to sort of channel um, entertainment and people going out to the movies into some real good education about the real-life animal counterparts to the animated characters in the film. Speaking of uh, live animals, you actually have one there right now. I do. I have Precious the Pug, and she actually appears in the film, and she's obviously not a wild animal. She's a, a dog, but um, she has a really fun role to play in, in the film. And, you know, one of our messages um, at the National Wildlife Federation is that it's, you know, we want to have wildlife around us, and there's a lot of species that can live happily in our cities and towns that we can see and enjoy, but we never want to make pets out of wildlife. And so that's why I decided to bring Precious here, because she is an appropriate pet um, for kids or for, for people that want that animal connection where you can get up close and personal and for the wildlife you know you can put out bird feeders you can create a natural garden that'll feed and protect the, the wild animals you know right in your neighborhood and that's the best way to help them out um, not to make them your own pet and my last question for you does precious do any tricks that we can show people <laughs> precious does not do any tricks she's uh, kind of a you know a, a spoiled pug here and a she's pug, you know what pugs are i had a pug and pugs are very smart, though, I tell you that. Yeah, yeah. She's, um, she's like, super mellow, and she's just chilling here, um, being cute for the camera, so. <laughs> Does she know how popular she is now? You know, I think I, we, we <laughs> haven't told her. We don't want to let it go to her head, so. <laughs> right. And they definitely have, uh, let's say, headstrong pugs do what they want when they want, you know. Well, very good. Well, thank you for joining me right here on the Rose Hollywood Report. You're welcome.